What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hacktivist Mechanic. It's a rainy Friday right before Easter and today we got the day off so we're going to do a little bit of maintenance. We're going to start with our first oil change on the 911. Uh, one thing exciting is I finally got the car lifted up on our lift here as you can see. Had to use a couple of blocks to get it going uh, but that looks pretty good. So here's what we got. We've got uh, about 10 quarts of Mobile One uh, 0W40. We got our uh, our Male OC54 um, oil filter. We're going to use this liquid Molly here, engine flush. We're going to try this out. We're going to put this into the engine, let it run for 10 minutes, and then we're going to put some motor oil saver in after that. We've got our 15 millimeter socket wrench, and we just got a 16 quart uh, drain container. Now the oil change on this thing is actually a lot easier than I thought, and there's basically two places that we need to drain oil from. It works on a, a, a dry sump, so we have one here, yep, and then we have one right here, right over there. So we're going to drain those two and uh, get it going. The first thing we're going to do is pop open the hood, take out the dipstick, and we're going to let it run for 10 minutes and put this engine flush in there, let it circle around for 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll drain it out. All right, we got the engine flush in there. We're gonna let it go for about 10 minutes. Just let it sit here and idle. Well, that was pretty close. Nearly overflowed our drain capacity. It's going in there. So drain plug. Get that cleaned off. So you'll see here we've got some uh, aluminum crush washer washers. So we get that in focus here, and got a new package right here, package of ten. So we'll be replacing one of those here on the crankcase. So now I'm gonna let that drain out a little bit, and we'll move the crankcase. Okay, we lost a bit of our light because it's raining outside. So now we're gonna move to the crankcase. Open that up.
Come on. Doesn't quite need to come off right. Here we go. Again, crush washer, we're going to replace that with this drain. Now, one thing to note we're going to torque this crankcase uh, oil boat down to 51 foot-pounds and we're going to do the oil tank over there down to 31 foot-pounds, 30 foot-pounds. This is according to the uh, Carrera repair manual. Okay, last thing to get everything out before we put new oil in is we need to take this filter off. So we're going to stuff some rags down underneath there and try to get this out as clean as possible. Alright, so quick trip to the auto shop. Uh, turns out my oil filter wrench that I had was not big enough for the Molly oil filter there, so I had to go one, run and grab one. Um, also, the well, aluminum crush washers that I bought uh, for the oil change were not the right size. So I went with the same ones. The, the ones that were on the car originally, uh, or not originally, but today, uh, were actually in pretty good shape, so we just used those again. Uh, but in the future, I will try to find um, some that fit when we replace this stuff again. So we've got the new oil filters in there. Everything's patched up underneath. Uh, so now we're gonna fill it up with uh, nine quarts of Mobile One Zero uh, W540. And then we're gonna put nine quarts in it. We're gonna run it uh, maybe around the block or so, get it to engine speed, you know, uh, uh, normal uh, warm engine temperatures. And then we're gonna check the level and add more if we need to. All right, so there's our oil gauge right there. Looks like we're right in the middle. It's pretty good. We drove around the block, warmed it up. Looks good on the dipstick. So we're done. All right, job done. Next up is tomorrow. Hopefully we're looking to add our new exhaust and bleed the brakes and eventually get this sucker washed. Stay tuned.